Money Matters in association with CIA Tax. Hello and welcome back to Money Matters, the show where we're trying to work out why and explain why your money matters. I'm your host, Mike Lutter, and I am, of course, joined by my money expert, Dr. Steve Entiket. Welcome to the program, my friend. Good to be on, and today's topic is about being tax ready. Now, I'm gonna put it back on people, because it happens every year. People who delay their taxes because yeah, they're disorganized, yeah. Um, and they don't want to have anything to do with it. We're well, you, busy, Steve. I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem's you. Okay, you've got the problem. All right, so I'm going to give people today who's watching this episode a three-step approach. It's not that hard. So if you're not actually tax ready at the end of a tax season, wherever that might be for, for you, yep. you're the fault. You're, you're the problem. All right, okay, so let's just make it out. So the first thing is, I always say, being tax ready is a responsibility. You're going to ignore your taxes and create a worse outcome for your financial position yeah. by ignoring them. Right, so start being proactive. Whenever you get a receipt for your business or your personal taxes, whatever it might be, I love shoe boxes because they work. You know, put them into that shoe box. It can be a digital shoe box, which we have now, uh, folder somewhere. I was going to Or it can actually be a shoe box. You know, next time you get your runners, put the box aside and start putting them in there. But here's the key point at the end of the month, pull those receipts out and put them into a spreadsheet if you're, if you're going to do it because at the end of 12 months, at the end of two years, if you've been a bit behind, it's a big job. Yeah. It's just get into that habit once a month, put them into a spreadsheet and it just gets easier and easier and easier. That's the first step. Okay. The second step is create a timeline. So for a lot of people doing their taxes, if you're in business, you might need to do your quarterly return yes. or your monthly payroll or whatever it might be. Or you're an investor and you're waiting for tax statements to come in from uh, managed funds around the world, whatever it might be. Put that into a timeline. You might need a health statement. Well, when do they issue? So you actually know what you're looking for and you know when it's going to come As in. As it approaches. So it's okay. a two-step approach. You know, Keep all your receipts, create a timeline of things you are going to need. And the third and final step is if you're using a professional, and I always believe you should be using a professional, uh, book in now. Because if you know that uh, July is a busy tax month, book in in April for July because the bookings will get taken up and you'll fall you know, down towards the end of the property and it'll keep you accountable. Yeah. If you've made an appointment to come and see someone in July, August, November, whenever it might be, you've now got a timeline that you'll react to. 